Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick, and in this part two series of Bamboo Studio Advanced Features, we're diving deep into the Strength tab. I'll be talking about the Detect Thin Wall option, as well as additional features that the Advanced Mode brings us. As always, I'll make sure to bring you the no fluff cut version and stick straight to the meat only. So grab a cold one, whatever that may be, and let's do it. If you have not yet gone through my beginner tutorial, I highly recommend you pause this video and go through that first. It lays out the foundation of Bamboo Studio. You'll be much more prepared for all the advanced information that we learn about in this tutorial. The first thing that we need to do is enable the advanced features by clicking this button right here. Now this should already be turned on if you watch the part one quality tab video. With the advanced mode turned on, you will notice that some of the sections now have some new options and we have added some new sections as well. The first feature that is new to the advanced mode is the detect thin walls option. I first would like to note that if you're using Arachne wall generator, then this feature may be disabled. The detect thin walls feature in Bamboo Studio is designed to identify thin walls in your 3D models that may be difficult to print accurately. Thin walls can sometimes be narrower than the width of the printer's nozzle or the layer thickness, leading to issues with strength and appearance. Areas in your model that may only be one wall thick. This feature ensures that these thin sections are properly detected and printed either by adjusting the extrusion width or reinforcing the thin walls to maintain the structural integrity and visual quality of the final print. Let's take this T-Rex tooth for example. He definitely snapped it, probably chewing on some other dinosaur. Anyways, it has a thin wall that isn't noticeable while viewing the model. But if I slice it, it now becomes apparent that we're going to have an issue. Before I turn detect thin walls on, I want you to note the edge of this model right here. Okay, with detect thin walls on, it sort of has fixed the issue, but it's now created some fragmenting problems along the model's edge. Just remember that when enabling this feature, it could have side effects that cause more problems than it's fixing. Next, I'm going to move past the shell section that we covered in the beginner tutorial. The length of sparse infill anchor determines how long each anchor point of the sparse infill is. Sparse infill is a type of infill pattern that uses less material, making prints lighter and faster to produce, while still providing necessary support. By setting the length of the sparse infill anchors, you can control how much of the infill pattern connects to the walls of the model. Longer anchor points can increase the strength of the infill, as more material is used to secure the infill to the walls. This can be particularly useful for models that need more internal support without using the denser infill pattern. The maximum length of sparse infill anchor feature sets a limit on the length of the anchor points. This ensures that the anchors do not become excessively long which could waste material and potentially weaken the print if the anchors span too far without adequate support. By defining a maximum length, you can maintain a balance between material usage and structure support. This feature helps to optimize the infill structure, providing sufficient anchoring to the walls without overextending the infill pattern. Lastly, in the Strength tab, we have the Advanced section, which includes several new features designed to give you even more control over the structural integrity and efficiency of your prints. Let's explore what each of these features does and how they can be practically applied to your prints. The infill slash wall overlap feature controls how much the infill overlaps with the walls of your print. This overlap is crucial for ensuring a strong bond between the walls and the infill, enhancing the overall structural integrity of the model. A higher overlap percentage can increase the strength of the print by ensuring that the infill walls are tightly bonded. However, too much overlap can cause overextrusion and potentially distort the walls. Balancing this setting helps maintain a strong yet accurate print. Adjusting the infill slash wall overlap is useful for models that require robust connections between the infill and the walls, ensuring the print can handle stress without separating. Infill direction allows you to set the angle at which the infill is printed. Changing the direction of the infill can improve the strength and stability of the print, especially for parts that experience directional stress. For example, setting the infill direction to align with the expected load direction can help distribute stress more efficiently across the model, preventing weak points. Using this feature can be particularly beneficial for functional parts that need to bear loads or resist certain types of forces. Bridge direction lets you control the orientation of bridges in your print. By adjusting the bridge direction, you can optimize the print path to reduce sagging and improve the quality of these unsupported sections. Aligning the bridge direction with the shortest span can result in a cleaner and stronger bridge. This feature is especially useful when printing models with significant bridging sections, ensuring these areas are stable and well-formed. Minimum sparse infill threshold sets the smallest area where sparse infill can be applied. Sparse infill is used to save material and print time by creating a less dense internal structure. By setting a minimum threshold, you can ensure these areas too small for effective sparse infill receive a solid infill instead, maintaining the strength and integrity of the print in critical sections. This feature is ideal for complex models with small detailed sections that require internal support. The infill combination feature merges small infill sections to create larger, more continuous infill patterns. 
This can enhance the structural integrity of the model by reducing the number of start and stop points within the infill, which can be potential weak points. This feature is beneficial for large prints where continuous infill patterns can significantly improve strength and print efficiency. In our model example, our print time is 1 hour and 52 minutes. Once we turn on infill combination, the print time goes to 1 hour and 47 minutes. This model isn't that large, so I can see why we don't get a huge difference. So for fun, let's go ahead and scale our Garfield model to 1200%. Okay, now when we slice it, the print time is 12 hours and 39 minutes. Let's switch infill combination on and see what we get. The new print time is 11 hours and 34 minutes. So we're saving an hour or about 8% ish. So not as a significant time savings as you get when changing your infill pattern. Detect narrow internal solid infill identifies narrow sections within the model that require solid infill for additional support. This feature ensures that even the smallest internal features receive adequate material and maintain strength and prevent breakage. By detecting and reinforcing these narrow sections, you can enhance the durability of your prints, particularly for models with intricate internal geometries. This is crucial for parts that have fine internal details that need to be robust and stable. I highly recommend you leave this feature turned on. Ensure vertical shell thickness guarantees that the vertical shells of your model meet the specified thickness requirements. Vertical shells are the outer layers that form the walls of the print. Ensuring their thickness is crucial for the overall strength and stability of the model. This feature adjusts the print settings to add more vertical shells if necessary, maintaining the desired thickness and reinforcing the model structure. This feature is vital for ensuring that the outer walls of your prints are strong enough to support the entire structure. Again, leave this feature turned on. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm glad you made it this far. If you have a question on anything, drop a comment below. I make a big effort to get back to everybody. Otherwise, you can do me a big solid, like, subscribe, and I'll be forever in your debt. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day and happy printing.